Hello, it's Lee here. Welcome to day 17 of Defemaremba, hosted by Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel from Junk Journal Art. So the prompts for today are rust and a bookmark. My chosen animal is peacock and I've got a reference photo of a feather and what I'm trying to replicate on this piece of Yupo with some alcohol inks is something that resembles a peacock feather. made my peacock feathers which is my randomly chosen animal for today and that's with Yupo and alcohol ink. So my Yupo is trimmed to size except for the bottom bit which I'm going to leave till later. I'm going to wrap it and stitch so it's enclosed and then on this side which doesn't have too much of the rust staining I'm going to put sew these on. I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine. I've sewn around it in a fashion but my machine does not like sewing through this and the stitches have all gone funny. I didn't even make it down that side because the thread kept breaking. But what I do have is some knitting yarn and it's a variegated sort of blue and aqua. So I'm going to stitch around the outside of that by hand and then I'll think about how these peacock feathers are going to go on. Now that was hard work. I'm not surprised the sewing machine didn't want to do it. Um, it's perfect, look, every stitch is the same size, it's so straight, mm, not at all. Uh, it's rustic, let's say. <laughs> it's a rusty, rustic bookmark. Okay, time to get these things on here. So, let's have a look. Well, gee, they look nice, don't they? I, I think I want to... This one's too big, I reckon. Something's... I'll cut a little bit off each one just to see if I can fit them on there better and then I'm going to go around the edge of them with a black sharpie so that um, the edges stand out and they're definitely not getting sewn on I can tell you that much not after the effort it took to get the uh, stitching around the edge of the card This little tail thing here is going to have to go. That's better. Yeah, they fit on there nicely now. I like the way they look. I'd like to colour that in a little bit. I'm going to see if I can just drop tiniest little bit of 
Now that's green. This is the one I want. And yeah, I've got a that at the ready just in case. Oh, yep, yeah, see, it spreads so much. I only wanted that little bit on there. Okay, so enough in the brush to, yep, yeah, that's good. That's all I wanted. I'm just going to run the sharpie around the edge of that. I think I'll be gluing this on with art glitter glue. I'll glue it down. Uh, I might just clip that. I do have some clips. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then see how it's holding together. I'm hoping I don't need to put any stitches in that because that was really hard work and hurt my hands to no end. I want to dress this up a bit. I think it's a little bit plain. So I was thinking of looking in my sequins stash and seeing what I've got in there. Well, I found this wonderful assortment of greens and blues, very peacock looking and I'm wondering whether they should go on the peacock feathers themselves or around on the fabric but I'm thinking on the on the peacock feathers looks nice how am I going to do this? maybe just put some little dots of the glue on and then stick the sequins on top. I shouldn't do too much because it'll dry before I before I get them down. Okay, let's see if I can pick them up. <laughs> Slippery little suckers. These tweezers can't be much chop. Oh, so it's not that bad, surely. Get on there. I'm just going to use my finger. stuck to my finger, of course. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Oh, that's, oh no, I got it still on my finger. I thought I dropped one. I don't want to have too much, too many of them. I want to be able to see the colour of the alcohol ink. I wonder how this night will be The apple does not fall far from the tree that I almost died a week ago I lost my will, I thought I let you know The countryside, the water so I wait up here, I just let it you know I wait along the corridor Some would say they've seen me here before Every time 
you look at me, I'm heating up at least a third degree. So there was one called Decayed, which is that brownie coloured one, and then the other one is Wicked Elixir, which is the greeny one. And I really think a little bit of um, pick-up feathers in here would look pretty good. Just there. Oops. There's going to be one there now. And just there. And I'm going to put the slightest little spray of water on that. Okay. Alright, so that just needs to dry itself off. What about some yellow? I've got mustard seed. I might regret doing this. I'm just going to put one there. Just gonna put one little drop next to each of the peacock feathers. Ooh, look at it go. Might need a little bit more there. The way that's spreading out. I'm so glad I put the sequins on there. I'm just trying to think what else could go on there. Maybe a little bit of gold spray. I don't want to do too much. There we go. Just want some little droplets to come in. Oh, shh. Didn't want that much. Anyway. There now. I'm just going to let that dry. finished so that's the back of it. I just put a couple of eyelets in it and put some of that same thread through. Alrighty and if I go to the back I'll just show you how I put in the one that I did yesterday so day 16 um, I just I've got it pegged into the back there and we'll just go pop it in here. So that's day 17 finished and that's my beautiful absolutely love this uh, bookmark with rust so my fabric has been rust dyed alrighty thank you for watching I really appreciate it leave a comment if you've got anything um, that you'd like to say uh, or ask me and give me a thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the playlist so it's um, hashtag defamaramba um and yes i'll see you in the next video so this was number 17 and i haven't put the number on there yet but i will and we'll be back for number 18. number 18 is handmade stencil and notepad and toucan is my is my animal Alrighty, thanks for watching cheers from australia Hooroo.